Tonight's Twin Falls City Council meeting, residents heard a proposal on accepting a grant from the Gateways for Growth Challenge. Now, that program would figure out what services refugees were missing or having problems with and then try to address them. Several residents, though, rejected that idea, telling the council about their fears and concerns about having refugees here. The city council unanimously decided not to make a decision about the grant proposal. However, they will send the city representative to strategic planning meetings, and he will bring back information to the council before they make any final decision. I don't know that uh, we've seen uh, what was described uh, in the meeting this evening. Uh, you know, our, our workforce uh, historically is, uh, they represent a very good uh, portion of our society. Uh, they adhere to laws. City Council stresses that they have no control over the refugee program or what happens with it. It is federally controlled. All they can do is make decisions on how the city responds to it. Also, the Twin Falls Police Department introduced a text to 911 system to the city council. The slogan, call if you can, text if you must. Now, it allows residents to text dispatch or for help and gives the hearing impaired a way to communicate with police. We recognize, and the industry has recognized, that uh, the need to text 911 is very important, and sometimes you can't make a phone call safely. The text to 911 system will begin on March 1st. City Council also unanimously voted to approve the zoning title amendment to modify the definition of an outdoor theater. In other news, in a historic 